Welcome back to Character Limit Exceeded, the movie review segment where every word counts. Today we have the king of all movie reviews while we do Godzilla, king of the monsters. Yeah, man, it's monster time. It it's is. about to get a roarous occasion up in here. And not Ooh. only is it monster time, but it's time to pick, pick that, that stick. stick. Look ah. at this presentation, it's wonderful. Give me that. Well, everyone, I got a ferocious chirp, 280 characters. I got a big old whopping book report, 250 words. And I have a not so whopping the Hemingway, six <laughs> words. I'm sure you're whop. Whop. Well, without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, the book report. Godzilla King of the Monsters is the Godzilla movie we've all been waiting for. Although, I'm still hoping we get to see a modern jet jaguar. The newest installment manages to focus on what is really important. Big monsters fighting the out of each other. The 34th installment of the Godzilla franchise, in my opinion, manages to perfectly marry the technological advantages of the more recent films and the feel from the Toho films that originally brought these monsters into our hearts. If you were expecting well-written dialogue and deep meaningful character arcs, well, then you came to the wrong place, idiot. If you were looking for an action-packed film about giant ancient monsters whose visuals are equal parts beautiful and absolutely savage, then my friend, go ahead and take a seat. My major gripe about 2014's Godzilla was the lack of monster. The main purpose of the human characters in a Godzilla movie should be to fill the space between seeing Godzilla destroy buildings and lesser monsters alike. Although one could argue that the 2014 release was an objectively better film due to the character-driven story, I would argue King of Monsters is the far superior Godzilla movie. So bite me. If you can muster up the suspension of disbelief necessary to look past ridiculous plot devices, like a prepared PowerPoint presentation being used for exposition in a crisis situation, then you will be handsomely rewarded with mid-air kaiju dogfighting. The chip. Arrival Alpha to Godzilla. If you're a longtime Godzilla fan, like myself, it should come as no surprise to you that the human component of the films have canonically been lackluster. That being said, this entry to the new MonsterVerse was packed with sufficient amount of CGI violence. Long live the king. The Hemingway. Now it's on like Donkey Kong. 